Hi, hope you're picking this up okay and can hear me okay particularly because I'm in a cabin on the uh, Adonia, it's a wee ship and as I talk to you now I'm in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean um, heading for Ponta Delgada and it's been an interesting cruise but um, just before I came away I had a funny couple of weeks uh, too many friends were dying and that's always a sad time isn't it and today I'd particularly like to talk about uh, the Moretti's they were guests on my act on my show my TV show very early on and Hans and Helga Moretti were fabulous show people yes he was a great designer inventor creator of, of magic and you can find him all over the internet doing his wonderful things with uh, catching bullets Russian roulettes uh, the the crossbow acts and all that jazz but you had to give it to hands when it came to showmanship he um, he was a big lad and so was Helga and one of my great memories of their act was he was upside down in the studio swinging on a flaming rope uh, above a bed of raised bayonets in a straitjacket he had to get out before you know the rope burnt through um, yeah health and safety <laughs> were going nuts and the firemen were all over the place but at one moment there's a, a ball of fire burst off this rope and landed here on Helga's boobies and without a blink she just went <laughs> and flicked it off and carried on smiling now that's a good assistant fellas I'll tell you oh yeah and another time he was supposed to come in the studio and we got a phone call he'd been doing the same escape from underneath a helicopter and the helicopter apparently had come in a bit too slow and Hans, the rope had burnt through and Hans went down onto the concrete and we got this message he was in hospital and we didn't know how bad or anything so phone calls were made because he was due into our studio I think it was that week or the next week and uh, we got the message I will be there, I will be there I should have mentioned he was German and he uh, <laughs> he came uh, into the studio more phone calls of course and he had said oh yeah I will be there I have a show to do two nights before in some nightclub Belgium place and then he arrives so I go and as he arrives he's got an eye patch on and uh, I give him a hug you know hands dunk he was solid, he was plastered all the way down. I said, oh Hans, you can't work like this. Ah, uh, don't worry, don't worry, big smiley Hans. He said, no, he said, um, I have had special, special plaster made. Uh, on one side is the catch, and on the other side is the, uh, is the hinge. And I can take it off for the show. Yeah, good, I said, and what's with the eye? Ah, yeah. Uh, well, two nights ago, I am doing cabaret, okay? And in the cabaret, um, I am doing mid the bullet, and the, the, the bullet catch is okay, but the, uh, the graphite is coming in my eye. So yesterday, I am in the hospital having the little pieces taken out. Uh, but don't worry, I will take the patch off for the show. Now he was being booked to do what he called Bell Book and Candle. It was a, uh, a suspension on a candle that was on a pile of books, you know, and uh, the girl would be laid out there. And he said, oh, Helga is now too big for this. Um, so I bring my daughter-in-law and he, I shook hands with the daughter-in-law. But when I went to shake hands with her, her hand was all bandaged up. And I said, uh, have you hurt yourself? Ah, yeah. In the routine, you know, I put the apple on her hand and I make me the samurai sword bang, and I cut. Well, with one eye, there's no perspective, so I am cutting her hand uh, sometimes yesterday. And I well, you can't do the show like that. Oh, no, no, it's okay, Paul. For the show, we use the other hand. <laughs> and they did. And it's a great presentation, a great show so many stories I've got about this lovely lovely man and uh, last I heard and I hope it's true his two sons were carrying on the axe 
all around the world and good luck to the Moretti's, long may they live, the king is dead, long live the king.